and I blog over at chaoticallyme.com. So I have been soaking, is that what you call it? I have been solar infusing olive oil on my windowsill for about a month now. And today I'm going to show you me straining out the herbs and storing the herb infused oil uh, for later use. My youngest son and I both have eczema. It flares up uh, over the oddest things with seasonal allergies, with foods we eat. Uh, even when we're really careful about what we eat, we still seem to get flare ups of eczema. So, um, we stopped using hydrocortisone and steroid creams a few years ago. And we've been on the search for a more natural option that doesn't cost a whole lot of money. Um, so, for I previously have been um, infusing the oil with dried herbs. This is the first time that I've done it with fresh herbs that we went foraging for around our home in Germany. Um, we're very lucky, we live right near the forest, um, beautiful clean air, which is very different to what we were used to in London for almost a decade. Um, yeah, and a lot of medicinal herbs just like grow like a weed here. Not so much in London, or in our part of London anyway. It was a bit of a concrete jungle. So uh, we've definitely been taking every opportunity to walk around in nature here. And I was very excited come spring to explore the herbs in the area and pick some. I was very proud of myself when I managed to identify a whole lot of them. Um, I will link below the um, the websites from experienced herbalists and the books that I've read and would really recommend if you're interested in getting into herbalism yourself. Um, so today I am straining St. John's Wort infused olive oil and yeah. So I'm, I'm really a beginner. But this is just what I do. It may not be 100% correct, but it works for us. Um, I like to sterilize the... Uh, it's like a coffee jug that you put a filter over. I'll show you in a second. Um, I like to sterilize that in the oven at 100 degrees. And the jar that I'm going to be pouring it into, I also sterilize for 10 minutes at 100 degrees in the oven. Um, and then I then let those cool down completely. Um, yeah. You don't want it to crack and you also don't want that high heat to destroy some of the properties of the herb infused oil that you've spent all this time on your windowsill getting ready to be useful for you. Alright. Okay, so this is the oil that I have been solar infusing on my windowsill since the 25th of June. And today I'm going to strain it. You might be able to see that. Hey, I'll show you one that's recent. You might be able to see the difference in the color of the oil from these two. This one's only been going for about a week. This one, a lot longer. I'm not sure if you can see on the camera the difference in the color. Anyway. that's called a carafe or what but um yeah it comes with a reusable filter and I just literally put all of this 
the jar, the lid, this and this into the oven at 100 degrees and sterilize them for 10 minutes. Then I turn off the oven, I let them cool down completely before removing them to use. Right, I'm going to try my hardest not to spill this everywhere, but it's okay. Even if it does spill, that oil will be great for our wood chopping board. Ooh, yep, I spilled it. Alright. You might be able to see the beautiful red colour of the St. John's Wort infused oil. Alright, I'm just going to keep going with that. You can get out some clean cheesecloth and wrap these herbs in the cheesecloth and squeeze out the remaining oil. I don't have any I don't have any clean cheesecloth right now, so I'm just using a clean spoon to press down. I love the way that um, Cami McBride, I will link her website below. I have um, her book, An Herbal Kitchen. Um, I think that's what it's called. And she also has a YouTube channel. Um, I love the way she puts it that this is not a science, it's an art. So don't be afraid to do it wrong. Um, there are some uh, I, there are some guidelines that will give you better results, but for example, I didn't have fresh St. John's wort for a long time when I was making this. I only had access to dried herbs and a lot of websites that I read said, you know, there's, there's no point using dried herbs. Um, and I did make St. John's wort oil with dried herbs. It did not have this beautiful red color, um, but it definitely still had uh, medicinal properties because when I badly sprained an ankle, um, it gave me a lot of relief rubbing that in, a lot more than just straight olive oil. So there was definitely medicinal properties in that oil, despite um, it not having been fresh herbs. It didn't have this beautiful red color that you get from the fresh herbs. Um, 
And absolutely, if you have a choice between the two, definitely use fresh. Um, but if you need to use dried, go for it. Like everything I read said, don't do it. And I did it and it worked just fine. Um, yeah, so don't be afraid to experiment with these things. Like what's the worst that can happen? You end up with just plain olive oil that you rub on your skin, which you know is lovely and moisturizing anyway. So really, other than the expense, of the ingredients, which, especially if you get them fresh yourself, is just the cost of some olive oil uh, and some jars that you have saved from your dinner. Um, I say go for it. It's so much fun. It's really rewarding. Um, yeah. So, I will pour this into the jar just to finish off this video but ordinarily I would just leave this sitting because it's still dripping I would just leave it sit for as long as I need to before it stops dripping because um, I'm not in a rush but in the interest of finishing this video I'll just put that there and I will pour this into my sterilized jar the lid on and I'm just going to pop this back on here to keep dripping. Um, and then I just like to write what it is on the lid. Not that I think I would mistake this beautiful red colour. So St John's and today's date. There you go, and we're all done. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have the confidence to try a little bit of beginner herbalism yourself. Um, if you do, or if you've got any questions that I might be able to answer, I'd love to hear about your experiments or answer your questions in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.